I've been busy at work behind the scenes of our little channel here, trying to figure something out over the past two weeks. You see, most VSTs let you make your own user presets, and they usually have a library file so that you can copy out and share. I figured that SoundPaint would have this ability as well. So I looked in the typical spots where you would likely find the so-called user library, and I couldn't find it. I scoured my C drive and my VST drive and no library file. I'm not one to give up, so I spent over an hour on the internet searching, checking the SoundPaint FAQ and their Discord channel, and all I found was the question, where is the SoundPaint user library stored? But no answer. At this point, I'm figuring that it's just not a feature yet, and maybe they will add it down the line. And then I stumble on this. That's right, 8DO. This is the company that created the SoundPaint engine, and it's a company that Trolls started back in 2011. And there it is. Lo and behold, the elusive SoundPaint user library. It wasn't really that elusive, it just took me forever to find it. But we did eventually find it, which means you get a free library. Not only that, this library contains 50 patches. If you want the free library, check out the description below and you can download it, totally free, nothing to sign up for, no spam or email addresses. Other companies do that, I don't. To use the library, you need four things. The SoundPaint engine, the 1928 vintage Grand Steinway, the free Angels pack, the free ASMR pack. Links to each of these items is below. Once you download the content, plus the free Arctic Fox library, you will have almost 24 gig of samples and 192 patches. That amount of content rivals instruments from other major manufacturers that cost hundreds of dollars. I'm going to showcase some of the free patches next, and I hope you'll stick around because I'm going to show off a few tricks that are pretty cool as well. And if you are having trouble figuring out where and how to install the library and make a copy of your own user library, go to the very end of the video where there is a short tutorial on how to do just that. Because I don't want you to accidentally overwrite your own user presets. But if you do, there is potentially a way to recover them. So let's take a look at some of the free patches.
This is a short tutorial on creating, sharing, and installing custom user libraries in SoundPaint as of May 2022. Program sharing on SoundPaint is in the works, but it is currently not available, so we have to go through the manual method. The location where the user libraries are kept is in your user directory on the C drive under the 8DO directory here. Click on that, then click on SoundPaint. Your current user library is the userlibrary.lib file. There is a backup of this file in the backups directory above with a date. If you want to keep your backups, I recommend copying them out to another file or directory. If you want to use a different library, like one of our free libraries, you should first change the name of your existing file to something else, like myoriginaluserlibrary.lib, for instance. Then bring in the new user library, copy it, and rename it to userlibrary.lib. That way you can have multiple libraries and anytime you want to change them out, you just need to delete the user library file, make a copy of the library you want to use, and rename it. Before you do that though, make sure that you back up any current custom patches so you don't lose them. So that's it for today. Good luck with the user library and we will see you on the other side of the mountain.